Hello my fellow watchers and I'm so happy I'm so happy I have finally passed this laziness to translate this video from Russian to English for you. Yes, I have finally done it. And today we are going to give a new life for my old clock. Look how beautiful this clock is. Unfortunately, I cannot mend the mechanism of the clock because it is covered by rust and well, I think it's better to give a new life for it. I love these elephants, they look very stunning. And my clock are quartz clock, is a kind of clock that uses an electronic oscillator that is regulated by a quartz crystal to keep time. I'm going to show you the pictures, how they looked originally as clock, but now, since that day they will be a frame for my new artwork. I'm going to draw something very interesting and something very nice. I found a picture on the internet, but my clock has Roman numerals and here is a Arabian. But it doesn't really matter because I just wanted to show how it looked like before. So now we are going to start. So I have already took apart all of the details of the clock and this paper I am going to use a stencil to draw a circle. So this clock has three details. Uh, first, it is a magnifier, well that's not a magnifier, that's not made from glass. Uh, it is plastic but it looks like magnifier. Also something from an aluminium like frame. And it has four hooks, and these hooks will uh, keep all of these details inside the clock. So, into the frame, aluminium frame, we put a paper and then cover it all with a magnifier and put it inside the clock. Moreover, these four aluminium hooks were keeping the mechanism inside the clock. But as well as we will not do the clock, we will do a frame. So let's get started. I take the paper for aquarel, yes, for, <laughs> for watercolors, and draw a circle, big circle, the same size as the original one. By the way, if paper be bigger, it's going to be very difficult to stick it inside the aluminum frame. So better it be smaller it will look nice also i am ready to draw outline of the planet so i think i will draw a uh, jupiter and saturn and rings of the saturn well that is not necessary to draw planets the planet sorry the planets from solar system draw it from your mind I will draw another universe or another galaxy. Well, something nice. I will draw just space with planets and stars. <laughs> it doesn't matter solar system or not. Just space. Why did I start from outline? Because it's much easier than to color the art. Some artists draw the background first. It is comfortable for them, but for me comfortable to draw this sketch firstly. And for the beginner artist I advise the same thing, draw, sketch, firstly, it is easier to color. As well as I use aquarel paper, I will draw with aquarel. I take several brushes, big, small and the middle one between them. I have some clean water, here it is, so let's start. I apply some water on the paper and then with the brush I take a little bit of color and apply it on the wet paper. In my technique of drawing I always go from big objects to small and from light colors to dark. I do like that usually, but sometimes from dark to light. But I prefer to do opposite, the first way. 
If you are planning to draw the same artwork as I did, or if you like the idea, so like the video. And I can also say you can use different colors, not the same colors as I use. You can even draw any another art. You can draw nature, ocean, animals, anything you like. You can use different colors for space if you want to draw space. Don't be afraid of using different and weird colors such like blue and yellow. You can make an umbre effect to get green one. And space always is different. It has some green also. And I also would like to make some clouds effect. It looks like clouds, but as I know it is a smoke. Smoke and steam. And after I will finish the background, inside the steam I will add some small, small little stars. It will look very, very beautiful. I hope it will look gorgeous. Don't be afraid of using different colors, as I say, creativity encourages the spontaneity. It will look very nice and you can save the situation by using the ombre effect, especially in space. Quack, 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 and my battery is finished, but don't worry, I always have another one with me. So let's move on. I will add some more bright dark colors to purple side of the artwork. It is the shadow. And the yellow, it is like sun rays or some light from stars, from hot stars. It looks nice. And I do this clouds effect by using some dark above the light. But I always do like that. I have two drops of water and one drop of uh, aquarelle on the brush and how I get this effect. If your idea about the dark color and bright, you should use two drops of water and two drops of aquaril. If your idea is about transparency, better to use two drops of water and one drop of aquaril. And I always do like that, that's why it's easier to make this smoke effect, this effect of clouds. So, I am moving on and getting more dark colors. If you didn't understand my example about the drops, you may write your opinion in the comments below. And I will try to reply to you and to find another explanation. But if you understand, I am very happy I could explain something to you. I have finished with the background and I am starting the planets. I am going to use different colors, the same <laughs> as I did with space. I will use blue, green and brown one. And the same technique from light colors to dark. I am applying more dark colors from one side of the planets to show where is light, where is dark, where are sun rays or rays of the star, and where is just darkness and shadow of the planet. And now I am starting to draw rings of the planet, as well as I change the place of my location, here I have another kind of aquarelle. And that sounds weird, but I can erase the layer with a wet brush. With another kind of aquarelle I had, I was using this kind of aquarelle for drawing an autumn composition. I, I couldn't do like that. That was impossible with the previous aquarelle. And this one, <laughs> that's that magnificent 
I can erase the layer with a wet brush. That's just a miracle. And it really helps. Sometimes it's necessary when you did something wrong, apply it more colors, you can erase it. Easy. <laughs> That's funny, weird and helpful. Again and again I apply more colors to show an effect of shadow and effect of light. Don't forget to give some time for the picture for the layer to get dry, because if you will apply a new layer on the previous one and the previous one is still wet, it will not be very nice. It would be a big fail, <laughs> so don't forget about that, the layer must be dry. I'm going to start to draw the rings of the planet and there is something interesting I want to say. I was checking the pictures on the internet and found very interesting thing. Between the rings there is a black line and I suppose this black line is like a shadow, a shadow from asteroids and meteorites. For drawing this shadow, this line, I will use black acrylic paint, black acryl. And I will also use white acryl for drawing the stars. I will use gouache with glitter to add some shine and sparkling to our art. I will use night glow paint for the planets. Night glow paint is a kind of paint that glows in the dark, it's also gouache. I will apply it above the planets when I will finish them. So I think our art is going to be very very interesting and mysterious and marvelous. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so but I know it will not be. Well, anyone can do a mistake. Even now I am not happy with the result of the rings. <laughs> because I see the finished result and you may also see that on the screen I'm not happy with the result how did I draw the rings because these rings don't look natural I didn't draw them as I wanted I wanted to make more natural effect like it's a real planet but anyone can do a mistake and my advice for each artist, for beginner, if you want to get better result, don't be absent from your mistakes, you should accept your mistakes, you should understand them, love them, oops, the ghost was knocking the door, loving them and then you will get better result. And now I am moving to stars. To draw a star in my technique is like the horizontal and um, the vertical line must be longer than the diagonal. I have two diagonal lines and they are shorter than the horizontal and the vertical. And you may see that on the picture I made zoom specially for you. I like these small little stars, they look very very sweet. I am trying to colorize the shadows and dark parts of the planet. Additionally, I am adding more reflection 
more glow and gleam using white acryl. I would like the picture would be more nice. I hope it will suit the picture. So now I am moving to the teeny stars, small little stars. Well, they are not small, they are just far away from the planets. I will use a teeth brush and my lovely, my favorite acryl white paint. I will just use it like spray. <laughs> it's not like spray and I am covering the picture with a hand, closing the objects because I don't want them to be in white little spots. It's a nice idea for my manicure and I am going on adding more stars and where is necessary I would like to draw more big stars which are closer to us, to our planets which are really big and now it's the time for the paint which is glowing in the dark and some glitter paint I will use violet, the purple one, yeah and the blue one so I'm using these colors for adding more glow to the background I would like to make the picture more contrast This paint has some glitter, so this glitter will spark on the light and this sparkling effect will give us the sensation like there are some small stars far away or shining. I like this effect. And at least when I am finished with the background I am moving to the paint which is glowing in the dark and covering the planets with it. I am just applying it on the planets. I will use the yellow one, so in the dark my planets will shine with a yellow color. And now I am locating the lines which are black, adding some shadows to the planets to give more natural effect, more 3D effect. Now I am finished and here is the finished result of our picture. Now I will cut out this little circle of space and add it to my metallic frame. I cut it very carefully. You see, this is our little small space and I am including my signature adding to the frame, covering with the plastic and put it inside the clock now it is not a clock anymore, now it's a frame now you see the finished result you know, I like it so much and now I accept my mistakes as well as creativity, encourage the spontaneity uh, well, I would like also to show how the planets are glowing in the dark. I will include this moment to the video. And now you can see these little sweet stars. The glitter is shining on the light. It looks so lovely. Wow, it looks very nice. I like the result. And I want to say to all of you, if you make some mistakes, don't be sad, because the worst of us we can do is just surrender without even trying, so don't surrender, 
the mistakes should motivate you to do more, to try more, to achieve your aim. If you want to be good in something, just don't surrender even if you made a lot of mistakes. At least once you're gonna have a good result because I believe in you and I'm wishing you for now very good mood, creative mood. Keep smiling and drawing and I will see you in a new video. Have a good time. Bye bye for now.